Grand Theft Auto 3 short video game review. Claude are n voiceless and until Saint Andres cameo nameless protagonist is left for dead by his girlfriend Catalina after the the two have completed a robbery. He gets bailed out and starts working his way to the top of the organized crime in Liberty City. This is an open world third person 3D action adventure game. It's the first 3D entry in the series and it fares remarkably well. They really put a lot of effort into not only crafting a solid foundation which has since been built on, even Vice City adds a ton, but in itself this game also feels complete. There's a ton of stuff to do. I, I've played it for 24 and a half hours and I've only gotten 40% completion. I've, I have completed the main storyline though. Everything is quite alive and randomized. There are a lot of wild cards for whether you're just, you know, going around the city exploring, which definitely pays off, or you're trying to complete a mission, a street thug might rip you out of your car, or if you drive through certain areas, depending on how far along in the game you are, if you make it into the turf of someone you've made enemies of, they're going to start shooting at you, and they might actually have some pretty high-powered weaponry on them. Not all of them, though. You can travel in cars, on foot. There's a, one type of boat, I believe only one type, and there's even a plane. There, the game offers three square miles to explore, and the further you get, the more areas you get access to. The main storyline is fairly simple and subtle, but it's also nicely, it kind of, every so often will pop up in the, in the, in the main missions where also other storylines, you know, kind of come and go. You never know for sure if a mission will be related to the, the, some overall story or if it's just a, a job. And all the missions are logical, kind of, like, you know, you'll help out a bank heist, or, you know, you've got to ram a car, you have to tail someone who might be, you know, a snitch, stuff like that. And in spite of fairly simple rules for these missions, they are quite varied, and, yeah, it's, it's an addictive game that you can spend plenty of time in, and... Yeah, d depending on how you approach it, it will come out differently. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.